you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we got the cheapest and fastest training on the market. So, the market has taken quite a dip in this recent week. And by dip, I mean like, could be a difference of like 4 to 5 to 10K per each bracket of like 80s to 81s to 82s to 83s. But that dip is a lot to affect the training market because like if it's 40,000 for a card and then it's 35,000, that's a big change in coins per training. So it's very important that we stay, I keep you guys in the loop. That's why I'm making this video at least once a week every, I'm pretty much making an updated training guide once every week or two because it's very important that you guys stay in the loop on training because training is a big aspect in this game with X factors, abilities, escape artists, evasive um freight train bruiser armbar all these cool abilities that everyone wants now to get all these abilities you need a lot of training so it's very important that you guys know how to save your coins and keep you keep you up to date on the training values because i don't really want you guys buying a training value you think is good but you're really just losing a lot of coins because buying two training values that go 55 coins per in comparison to buying one that goes to 44 coins per is a big difference when you buy a ton of training because if you think about it if it's 44 coins per training and you, you save 10 coins every time it doesn't sound like a lot but you times that by the amount that you spent and it comes out to be like 10 20 30 40k that you're losing in just efficiency also just to explain to you guys how this really works since a lot of people don't always know how to even check coins for training so you know how i like to run this i like to run this on the auction block going one by one by one by one to show you guys each one i have my updated training chart right here on my phone and pretty much i'm gonna go through it and then a quick little intro for you guys so guys first things first if you guys aren't new to the channel make sure to go down below smash the sub button we are at about i believe 7.2k just about still grinding out to 8k Gonna keep this going throughout the year, three to four videos a day. So if you guys want to stay tuned for all this content, make sure to smash the sub button, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Also, comment down below if I miss anything in this video, if there's anything that's better, or if I'm supposed to filter something differently that I didn't do right. I like to always get told what I do wrong so I can always update myself for the future. And let's get this video to 250 likes. That's about it, guys. Let's get into this. Let's go to the auction block. So starting at the 80, um, 80s. So a lot of people like to tell me that, oh, the 70 golds can be the best one. Yeah, that's if you sit there and want to snipe them. But realistically, you can't. You're not going to get 70 golds as the best value. It's like if you sit there and you snipe them. But if you snipe any card, they're probably the best values. So getting into the elites right here, 80 overall to Sean Jackson goes for about 11,250. If you filter these out, you can get them for about 11,000 flat. A few times, if you take 11,000 coins and you divide that by the training value of 80s, which is 190 training points, you get 56 coins per training, which is an improvement upon the training value of last week, but it's still one of the worst ones in the game. It actually might be the worst one in the game. Now, coming over to the 81s, they're going for about 12K right now. So 12K divided by 265K, I mean 265 training points, is 45 points of training. So they're actually one of the best. So the 80s are horrible, but the 81s are now good because prior the 81s were going for like 15, 16K, so they were one of the worst ones. But for 12K, they are now one of the best ones. Now, you always want a cheap card to be one of the best ones because now you could buy literally the training you need. Because let's say the best training value is Radiates. 88s. So that means you have to spend 130K minimum. Like, even if you only need 300 training points, most people would still buy the 88s to be efficient. So, in theory, you're going to buy 2,500 coins worth of training. 2,500, I mean, 2,500 training points with your 130K. But you really only need 200 so it's like you bought so much extra but when there's a cheap option being efficient you could literally like you need 400 buy 281s you need 600 by 381s you could buy exactly what you need you don't have to buy over the amounts just to be efficient now but that was just a quick little tip there not too much relevance to the prices but i hope that helped you guys so now 81 i mean 82s 82s go for 365 training and they go for 18k so if you divide that you get 46 coins per training it is not as good as the 81s for 12k but it is definitely one of the better ones in the game now, I believe the 83s are not too great. I believe they're 24K right now. So 24K, which is divided by 505 for 82, uh, for 83s is approximately 47 coins per training. It's not the best. The best is still the 81s, but it's definitely not horrible. It's definitely one of the better ones. It's pretty much right there. So like if you have one, this is also good because with a lot of cards being good training values right now, you could just quick sell cards you get. Like if you pull, an, if you pull like that AJ Green, although it might be one coin less efficient, it will make more sense to just quick sell it. Don't sell it and buy the card you need. Because in theory, you're just going to be losing coins off the reduction that you should have just saved. Now, the 84 overalls go for 35K. Divide that by 700. They are 50 coins for training. They are not a good value at all right now. Right now, the best ones are the 81s and the 82s and even the 83s. The 84s are not too hot. Now, the 85s are not bad at all. And honestly, I think they actually might be one of the best ones considering. So the 85s go for 45K, 44K. 
So if you could filter this out directly by uh, 85, if you get them for 44k or below, they're the best training, they're the best training value in the game. Because if they're at 44 or below, they come out to 4.4 coins per training, 44.9 coins per training. So they will be below 45, which we have not actually seen just yet. Now they are one of the best in the game at this moment, based on what we're seeing. Now I believe there's one more better that you guys will be seeing as we move on up the chain. 40, uh, so the 86 overalls go for 63k and they quick sell for 1,340. So if you divide that, you get 47 coins of training. So they're still a good option. Again, if you have these cards and you want training, you can quick sell them. You don't need to sell them. Remember, if you have them already, just sell them. The only ones you really don't want to sell off the bat is 80 overalls and 84 overalls. Everything else, pretty much after that, you can you can just quick sell if you need the training. You don't have to actually you don't have to sell them and go buy a better card. The 80s, you do want to do that because they are a really bad option for training. Now the 87s. I'm gonna come on down to let's see where the first 80. Brandon Brooks. So in reality, you can get these 87s for about like 83k. They're just not filtered out right now. So I did the math with 83k. If you divide that by 1,860, you do get 44.9. So that is really good. But again, if they set at 88 to like 45.3, 45.4. If they, but either way, they're going to be 45 or 44. So the 87s are actually one of the better ones. Although there is a much better one coming up that you guys are going to want to pretty much always use if you need bulk amounts. If you need bulk amounts, it's the best one by far. If you need tiny amounts, maybe stick to the 80s. So 88 overalls, when you filter this out properly, we're finding these for 111 right there, 116. So if you do 111 right there, an 88 overall for 111, that comes out to 41 to 42 coins per training. That is the best value in the game. Now we can't account that we're always gonna see a Deshaun Jackson for 111K. So I did the I did like a medium, so 116K is where I did it. At about 115 to 116K, 88 overalls divided by 2,640, which is their training value, go for 43 coins per training. So they are by far and away the best option in this game. Although if you can even siphon for below. So anything below, at 420, they're like 44, 45. At 415, they're 43, 42. And at 111, they're like 41, 42. So if you can find anything below, 116 for me is a buy. Even 119 is a buy. But like for efficiency, efficiency, like anything below 116 is a massive buy for 88s. Now if you go to heavyweights, same thing, you'd always find them pretty cheap. These are pretty much the ones you want to do. So in my opinion, the best day to really get training sometimes would be when the heavyweights or flashback packs drop. Or should I say the new players drop people open packs as these cards will be the cheapest 88s in the game, which will definitely help lower the training market, which is always good. And with team of the week coming today, which you guys should have seen that video already that I would have posted at about 1030 Eastern, 1050 Eastern ish when it goes up, that video will be going over those team of the week. So those should greatly affect it with team of the weeks, heavyweights, and so on and so forth. All this new content training is going to start busting down. So that's why I have not spent that much money on training because I know it's going to come down crashing soon. Now, the 89 overalls, let's go down to where they are. I believe they're about 170, so let's see. Khalil Mack is 170, wow. Anyways, so, okay, Larry Allen is 158 right now. That would be one of the best training values in the game, but we can't account for Larry Allen always being up for 158. In theory, these cards typically average at about 168, 170, and when you do that math, 89 is divided by 3,570, you get 47 points per training. Now, if you find them for like 158, this might be actually the best value in the game, or at least tied for the best value in the game, but remember, you're not gonna, they're not always gonna be like that. Like in tip reality, these 89 sit for about 170. And with Team of the Week coming soon, expect the market to come down quite a bit. I will make a market talk video on that so you guys can keep updated on all the new values and all the new prices. It, I can tell people are preparing for this new legend drop today too, because prices are coming down quite a bit. Now at Jerry Rice at 250K, now the median's like 240, 250. So if you did that right around there, if you took a 90 overall, uh, at 250k divided by 4940 you get about 48 coins per training which is not one of the best so to sum it up the best one in the game overall is the 88s the ones that you can get away with and not really care about are the 81s the 82s potentially the 83s the 85s the 87s the 86s and the 89s now the 88s are by far and away the best one and the only ones that are really horrible are the 80s and the 84s those are the ones that are truly like just don't don't use us for training but that's at this moment things should obviously change which is why i update this weekly now as a whole guys remember buy what you need in training at, the, at this moment in time you can buy what you need which is important because like i said if you need 700 training just go buy don't buy a you know don't buy what's it called an 88 overall and spend 120k when in reality all you need is 700 at that point you're better off just buying like 282s or 381s like you're better off buying exactly what you need so you don't have to spend because if you spend a ton of coins on training now like oh it's good because i'll hold it for later well yeah in a week when you actually end up using it training might be down even more so for now you could buy what you need there's going to come a point in the game where there's just one overwhelming value and that's pretty much what you got to use like last year i remember there was like the todd Gurley's and like the high overall 98 team of the years that 
literally if you bought them you got like forty thousand training but it was worth it because those cards gave you so much more training than every other card in comparison to the price you paid so it made sense but right now with how the game's changing so fast do not invest highly buy what you need and that is it do not go over because you're going to regret going over now guys that's about it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy the training video if you guys did go down below smack the like button let's get the video to 250 likes and if you also enjoyed the content and you want to keep staying updated with training and everything, make sure to hit the sub button to be up to date. Turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.